Okay, so I'm back for one last video. Here is the bear, all stuffed, well, except for one arm, but I'll do that in a few minutes. And I just wanted to show how I do the stitching of the stuffing holes. So here I have the back of the bear, and this is my stuffing hole. This is used to stuff the head and body part of the bear, and I'm going to stitch it up. So this, these raw edges, I left the seam allowance on so I can sort of tuck them under. And because I don't have any notches here, I never cut those notches, it's pretty easy to just sort of tuck under the seam allowance. So you're going to have a nice, you know, flat seam when you sew these together. The stitch that we're going to use to sew this up is called a ladder stitch. And so I have a needle with pink thread and I've done I've just doubled it and knotted it a couple of times and I'm going to start here at the bottom of the seam so I take my needle and I put it inside the hole and come up about a little less than a quarter of an inch or around a quarter of an inch um, in into the bear so the reason I do this is so that the the stress here will not be in the open part so you're gonna have some stress at the very end here and it just makes it a little more stable if you start at a place that's already stitched together so I'm gonna pull that through and this means that my tail is gonna be inside so I don't have to worry about that and then I take this sorry take this thread and pull it across now if there was an opening here it would be pulled across the opening and go into the fabric right where the thread makes a horizontal with the back seam. Then I make a stitch about an eighth of an inch or so. So I'm just going through both the the body piece and the seam allowance that's behind it, so it's two layers that I'm going through, and pull that through. Okay, so you have a little line here. And then, same thing to go to the other side, I'm going to pull this down and go in right where it comes across. I uh, like to be pretty close, but not exactly on the seam line here. And do the same thing, about an eighth of an inch, and pull that through. You can see the two stitches there. So I'm just going to pull them tight, and the idea here is that you're going to have a way to sort of cinch this up. It might be difficult in the very beginning to get it to cinch and stay, but once you've got you know half of this done, it'll stay. It'll stay really well. So I'm just going to go in, go across, and here we're going over an opening, and then put the needle in, grab about an eighth of an inch, come back out on that side, you can see that, and pull through. So you can see, you know, it cinches that seam closed. And I'm going to do the same stitch all the way along. And you don't have to pull it tight every single stitch. You can make a few and it ends up looking like a ladder. And then you can pull the thread and it all will come together. So let me make a few stitches here. You can see that is making a little bit of a ladder. If I just pull on the end, cinches everything together and makes sort of a, a you know, zigzaggy looking seam. And that's what you should have all the way up the back. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, technically the official way to do a ladder stitch, but this is what I found and it works, it works quite well. It's a really tight hold. It makes a nice clean seam. 
Um, it's nice to look at. So I'm going to finish uh, stitching this, or actually maybe I'll make some more stitches and I'll show you how I cinch everything up, and then I'll show you the finished seam. Alright, I've made a few stitches here. You can see that they're bridging the gap between the two sides, and I'm just going to take the thread and gently pull. And you can see it cinches everything together and makes this zigzag seam. Um, you can see that the last two stitches, like, you know, you can pull them and they don't really hold, but as soon as you get most of the way up, they'll hold just fine. So just keep stitching across and then cinching up after you get a few done. I will finish up and show you what it looks like. I've finished up the back seam. You can see it all stitched up here. And I made a little knot at the end. I also stitched past the seam line on, or the opening on this side too. Like a little, a little bit into the, where the seam starts. Then I made a little overhand knot, and then I wove the ends in by just putting the needle through and coming up over here and cutting it off. So this would be how you close up all the stuffing holes. That would be the two legs, two arms, and the back. And then your bare, well, your bare construction is finished, and then you will work on doing the nose and eyes. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and I hope it has been really helpful to uh, show you how to make a memory bear. Thanks!